let's talk about how artists create depth in a painting. Now, there are some really important aspects to think about when we as artists are trying to create the illusion of depth or create a painting that looks somewhat realistic. Now, perspective is the illusion or trick artists use to make something look three-dimensional on a two-dimensional surface. It is perspective that makes a painting seem to have depth and distance. Now, in order to understand perspective, we need to talk a little bit about viewpoint. So viewpoint is the point in which you are viewing the scene. In this painting, I imagine I'm standing here, viewing the painting from the center. Now, most times when a painting is created, the artist paints it as if they were an adult in the standing position, because that's how we view the world the most. So here, I am standing in the middle of the street and I'm looking towards the sunset. Now, a higher viewpoint might be if I was standing on the rooftop, looking down into the street, so we would see different things. And a lower viewpoint might be if I was painting the picture as if I were a child. So it makes a big difference whose viewpoint you're using when you're creating a picture. Now, viewpoint leads to the horizon line. So from my viewpoint in this picture, my eye level line, okay, or the horizon line is here. Now the horizon line ultimately controls where I look in the painting. It is often where the sky and the land meet, but is always where your eye level is. On the horizon line, there is a vanishing point, the farthest distance you as the viewer can see in the painting, which would be here. So an artist will often use imaginary lines called vanishing lines, and all vanishing lines connect to this point. This is used to create accurate perspective. So, sounds a little bit confusing, but let me show you what I mean. Okay, so I'm just going to draw the horizon line, and I'm just gonna use this clear sheet protector to show you what I mean. So here is our horizon line in this painting. Okay, so there's our horizon line, and here, I've created a vanishing point. So this is called one point perspective. And these are called vanishing lines. Okay, so basically to create this picture, I took all of these lines and I connected them to this vanishing point to create perspective and achieve depth. So all of the lines under the horizon line slope upwards, whereas all of the vanishing lines above the horizon line slope downwards. And as you can see, I'm still working on this painting. Okay, but all the lines that I've used to draw this all connect to this one point. So sometimes there's no need for vanishing lines depending on where the item sits. So for instance, in this painting that I, I've done here, the viewer is standing right in front in the center and looking straight ahead. So our horizon line or eye level would probably be about right here. And then this line for the window is actually parallel just because we're looking straight on. So there's no need for vanishing lines as we can't see the sides of it. Now we established in this one that we have the horizon line right about here. Okay, and this is our vanishing point, the farthest the point the viewer can see. Now, what if I wanted to add another painting right beside it? Now we could actually add another vanishing point, which is called two point perspective. Okay, so this would be basically if I took and made another drawing and I extended the horizon line, So, okay, and I added another vanishing point. So let's add it right about here. Okay, and then I could extend and see the side of this building. Okay, so I'm just gonna connect all lines to this vanishing point. Remember, all vanishing lines slope downwards if they're above the horizon line, and they slope upwards if they're below. So I'm gonna continue this line here. And then of course, if we wanted to add a door, 
we could take our ruler and we could add more doors. And this is how you accurately achieve perspective with two vanishing points. building here and then these lines we just erase so you can see how I could create another building or the side of this building with another vanishing point. Then if I wanted to add windows we could do this. And so on. And then I would just erase all the little lines in between or the ones that I don't need. So this is called two-point perspective. I wanted to continue this picture. Mm -hmm.